The Jensen Beach Causeway Bridge is open for public access for the next 90 days. But 90 days from now, the Department of Transportation will determine if the bridge will stay open for public access. Members of Indian Riverkeeper discussing the reopening from the bridge Thursday, following the county commission's decision to ask the DOT to allow foot traffic and fishermen once again. When I saw the bridge close here early January, it kind of tugged at my heart because really I grew up with my family doing that kind of fishing. And a lot of people in Martin County love this spot. It's a very iconic fishing spot. Group members say littering led to the DOT shutting down access, but this bridge is one of the best fishing spots on the Treasure Coast. Came as no surprise because over the years, and frankly, it was embarrassing at times, the amount of trash. So I thought there's some way we must be able to reverse this and make it work. I think we need to change the culture of littering. And it's a minority of anglers that do the littering. We don't want to just move the littering problem elsewhere. We want to change the problem. Now the riverkeepers say they will monitor the bridge to make sure the area is clean and people pick up their trash, but they're also hoping all fishermen do their part. If you pick up that extra piece of trash, you know, or do your part, we're, you're helping not only clean up the community, but also ensuring that you're preserving that, that public access for generations to come in the future. They're also calling for more enforcement against littering, more signage and trash bins to help solve this problem. There are no trash facilities anywhere. They have to help us to encourage people to dispose of trash properly. Reporting in Jensen Beach, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.